Hello guys, welcome to today's video by Trust Stanley at TS Tech Talks video. In today's video guys, I'm going to show you how to create a WhatsApp broadcast on your WhatsApp business. Alright, now let's open WhatsApp business. Okay, um, so before I do this, I'm going to give you guys a quick tip ahead. Um, WhatsApp broadcast is different from WhatsApp group. So if you create a broadcast like I did right here, I have um, seven recipients here. This is just a dummy broadcast. So um, all these contacts in this broadcast right here, they didn't know I have this broadcast created. So um, any message I send right now, they are all going to receive it as a message, but they are never going to receive it as they are never going to receive it as a group. So um, when I send any message right here, they are all going to receive it and they are going to receive it as an individual messages but they wouldn't know I added them to a broadcast. So um, for marketing purpose, this WhatsApp broadcast is very good for you to share your products link and new products, prices and discounts or whatever package you have for your customers, you can always share them here. And also if you want to wish them happy new year, happy new month and all of those, you can do all of those right there with your WhatsApp broadcast. So let's dive into this video. Now to create a new broker list, go ahead and click on this three dotted icon on top. Now you can notice where it says new broadcast. Click on that and it's going to display you all the names of your contacts. So you can go ahead and select all of them by clicking, clicking, clicking. I'm not going to do this to everybody because I just want to limit this to very few people. This is just a tutorial anyway. So um, once you're done, just go ahead and click on this check icon. But if you want to add more contacts and you can't see their name right here, probably is down down on the list. Just go ahead and click on this search option and then type. So once you type, you're going to see the name of the person, then you click to add. And then the same thing goes to other contacts. So just go ahead and select and then add. So once you're done, click on this checklist right here to confirm that you're okay. Now you can notice there are eight recipients right here. If you click on this menu and you want to add more, you can always click on this plus icon to add more. When you click on the plus icon, you can always tap to add more people on the list. So click, click, click. And once you've selected them again, click on this plus icon to confirm your selections. So once you confirm your selection, um, you can notice now it's updated to 13. So um, and now another thing guys, you know, if you created this, this list and they are all in your um, WhatsApp business, so you might want to do one more thing. You might want to add them to a label to label them as a particular recipient. So for instance, if this is um, all my closest friend, you can click on this um, icon right next to the plus icon to add more people. You can notice it says um, label, I mean, label broker list. So you can label this broker list any of the one that you want to choose. So I can see best customer, right? And then click on save. So it's going to save them as best customer. You can notice below it displayed best customer, right? And also you can also edit your um, broker list and say, So once you're done changing the name, click on OK. The name is going to display right there. And it's as simple as that. So um, you can still notice that it's end-to-end -end encryption, right? So um, once I back out now, you can notice um, the name has been changed. And if I back out one more, you can notice um, it has this label icon for it. You know, the label icon always have a, a unique kind of color next to their names, right? So. We have our best customers and we have our new customers below it. So you can click on your best customer and send any message. Whichever message you send, they are all going to receive this. Whichever message you send at all, they are all going to receive it. And once they receive this message, they are probably going to reply to you and they are going to be replying to you and you can um, be chatting them individually once they reply to that particular message. But at first, they are going to see it as a group, as as individual messages. So when you reply to, when they reply to it, you are also going to see it as an individual messages. Let me go ahead and test this out. So I added TS Tech Talk and I just received this message on my other phone as an individual message. You know what? Let me add one more contact so that I'll show you guys how it look like.
I didn't know the exact number the guy is using. So, um, okay, I think he has received the message. Now, if I go to the other WhatsApp area, this is the message right there. You can notice the message says hello. That is the message I just sent to the broker list and he received it as an individual message. So I'm going to reply to this message right now so that you guys will see how it looks like on the business list. Now you can notice um, this is the message the guy actually replied back. This is it. It showed as an individual message and it said hello back. But if you remember, I posted this from my um, WhatsApp list. So this is just how it works. It's pretty simple. You send your broker's list and when they reply to the message, it comes an, as an individual message. This is basically for your business use. So I hope this video was helpful. Please do like and subscribe to the channel to see more videos. And please stay home, guys. Stay safe. Peace.